you go to third world countries, uh, if you're doing a 17 hour print, there's about a 50-50 chance you're going to lose electricity in the middle of that print. So we're looking at how to use short term, two to four hour UPSs that are affordable, you know, uninterruptible power sources that would allow the PC to, d to check out while the print continues seamlessly. And then uh, uh, intelligent recovery so we can park at the end of a layer, come back, heat back up. There's a lot of really, uh, what I think, essential algorithms and responses. When you're in America, we just say the lights aren't going to go off. I mean, they're just staying on. It's America. They don't even know where all the electricity comes from. But when you get outside of our envelope, or if you move to California, or as they like to say now, Mexifornia, uh, then you understand that rotating brownout sometimes in the summer and other things like that, those are a catastrophe during a print. So you will see more and more in super duper uh, enhancements to the software on that line. And no one will be left out because it should be uh, adapter board. So what we're looking at is like 50 bucks to upgrade to the 64 megabyte buffer and the latest and greatest uh, uh, CPU at the same time. So it's not going to be it's not going to be something of of cosmic importance. I don't think. No. Anyway, you use an embedded beagle boat beagle boat black. It's like an Arduino type. <laughs> now is that a question? You could use a Windows tablet? That's no, certainly it's not. It's, that's a statement from him. Ah. Navy is still using Windows NT. Well, actually, a XP is built on top of NT, and Windows 7 is built on top of it, and Windows 8 is built on top of it. I think you'll find suspiciously, tremendously, a lot of common code. When they moved to 8, it's the GUI. The GUI is what changed. And, the, and that was great because of the guys like me with huge fingers. It, it made them uh, possible. Yeah. Oh, are the candy stripers coming by? Is everybody ready for Christmas? I'm not. I can't believe it's just a couple weeks away. Oh, he's printing on two machines at the same time. It's kind of a, he hogs all the printers, you know, really. So. And. Tell me. No cleanup. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. See, Hutch is getting cocky now that he knows how to design parts for printing. You guys can see it or not, but he really likes putting our high rail emblem on stuff. Uh, and it looks pretty good. Anyway, so this is a part, it's a new type of material sensor he's just making. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Thank you. Looks great. Yeah. A couple of second ops with a tap, and you got it made. The idea behind this is that it's fitting so it fits itself. Ah, like that because okay. you have one screw that goes all the way straight through. Oh, nice. So, very nice. So, this guy right here you probably recognize from one of the last week's broadcasts. This goes on the reverse side of your engine or system, but it takes up one of the holes that holds the material sensor brackets in place. So, we had to make one that was going to adhere itself, and uh, it fits quite nicely use the same hole and uh, yeah so I'll just have to drill this guy out and uh, it looks pretty good so good stuff oh <laughs> okay yeah yeah you're right hold on one second sorry guys all right <clears throat> so here's the very first guy oh, come on oh, right there in the center focus a little bit you can see the little holes that go right there. And so, there we go. It's going to be here like this. This goes on, on all the engines, guys, not the systems. So, put the finger away. So, it, uh, this guy came out beautifully. So, we're going to be printing off a lot more of these guys. And, uh, yeah.
Um, in designing this stuff in, guys, there is a little bit of a fudge factor when it comes to oops, when it comes to printing. Um, and let me go back to the, the, the uh, this guy over here. So. Oh yes. So there is a little bit of, of a fudge factor when it comes to printing these guys, so that they line up just right. And we are trying to get it to the point. Uh, and thank you, Alan, for sending us those calibration prints. Um, and we will run them. And I think that uh, makes it well on that. We'll dial in the very first couple of things for the Sane Smart. Once everyone will have the right recipes. Oh, and the recipes we can share with anyone and everyone via the Google Drive. And then, yeah. And uh, the whole fudge factor can be over extrusion. Yes, absolutely. Oh, oh. Uh, Powers USA, great question. This dark blue part actually goes on the system and also on the engine. And what we found is that these two giant holes that you see, uh, there we go, right there in the middle, those two holes um, are just tall enough so that the screws that are on the back of the Y axis don't touch the flat flex cable. So this is your flat flex cable protector. On top of that, the two little flanges that you see at the very top are there to hold the next bit of, um, I want to say the, the, uh, the Australian name, which is Persplex. Um, yeah, it's not. Ah. It's, uh, it's not even acrylic. Glass or polycarbonate. It's polycarbonate. So, and um, that's why we designed that, designed it that, that particular way. So, great question, Powers USA. Qué lindo. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like it. Is that the last one? It is. Nice. Keep your fingers crossed. Everything else is working so far. Yep. So I can see now and it'll blow it out. Okay. One thing I will share with you guys is that when you are printing, or when you do want to print um, certain particular shapes and pieces, we're finding that there's no shame in putting a nice little um, chamfer, uh, either an edge chamfer or using a fillet around on the actual corners. It actually um, makes the part come out quite nice. So, um, so don't skimp on using the chamfers in your programs, in any one of your CAD programs, because the finish comes out uh, a little bit nicer uh, than what we would have expected. Also, um, hmm, I'm wondering if I should sacrifice this guy. Uh, I don't know. I'll sacrifice it with some sandpaper. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. There are a couple of pieces that we have. I'm going to grab them in just a second and show you what happens when you sand them net when you sand down the pieces just, just a smid smidge. Um, you actually get uh, some pretty nice smoothing out of it. This is the one we printed last week on the broadcast, and um, this is what it became, a little bit nicer of a piece, a little bit thinner, and um, so I'll go to the regular, there we go, so, sanding that that tip down, as you can see, it's nice and glossy now. It actually works quite well, quite nice. So, definitely recommend, um, so as long as you've got enough meat there, um, you can definitely sand it down, and it is, I mean, it is nice and smooth. So, um, ABS is starting, starting to be a very, very useful plastic for us. And it's a very, very good thing. Oh, thank you, Powers USA. Excellent link. It up so ah, there we go nice very cool yep 
And this was going to be some of the stuff we were going to be doing in some of the more advanced classes. And it looks like they've already done it, which is great. So, um... Anyone and everyone, any just take 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 note of what Powers USA just put out there for the tips. Um, that's huge because a lot of it really makes the most amount of sense when it comes to building uh, what's there. So, yeah, um, thank you, thank you, Powers. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, thank you, come on. <laughs> Uh, we will we will try out we will try out the duck. We actually got the duck originally from one of the uh, very first printers that we we purchased, and they uh, let's just say that the duck came out as um, as a ball of filament, not so much of a duck, um, unless. Well, it's as much of a duck as, as uh, Jackson Pollock is a um, uh, is a uh, Michelangelo or um, Leonardo da Vinci that type of sketch. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. So, thank you, thank you guys, and yes, we will be definitely trying these print tests. So, that's good. Yes, Nerd Rocks, you're absolutely correct. Gaining the blowtorch as well. Um, yeah, we, uh, we use the blowtorch. We even got a couple of soldering irons. Works. Uh, the soldering iron actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, heating up a metal part uh, and then pressing it in um, works quite nicely. Just make sure you don't overheat the metal part as you're pushing it in. Because when you do, it's going to cause a huge amount of issues. So. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at email, and I'm also looking at a, at a couple of other, other questions that people have had here and there. So, um, so DaCosta, uh, David DaCosta, I would say that your printer is, um, it should be ready to, to, for us to ship it out there. Uh, we have a gentleman who's out there who's been more than kind enough in order to, to stage, uh, have a little staging area for us um, for some of the some of the printers when you're shipping out to the uh, to the LA area. So um, yours is up. In fact, yours is one of the guys that is well. Yours is one of these guys down here, as you can see right here. So there you go. So it's coming. It's coming. Ah uh, yes, E1J. and Jay, thank you for reminding me. Uh, lasers. Um, Carl did make uh, a little bit of progress with the lasers. However, I am not at liberty to discuss exactly what he did with the lasers and where he's going to be going with the lasers. So um, the whole off on that one. When it comes to the cleaning brushes, that's another question that we have to ask Carl. So, we still have our little prototype. And it still does work. So, although it, as those people who have come by and actually have used these particular motors will know that uh, they're powerful enough and they're strong enough to actually push the, um, still are a little stronger in order to push out the, uh, your Mark 1s. And in some cases, also your emos. So, yeah. So, last two questions are from uh, Eagle One J about lasers and also the clean brush. So, we have um, we have the. 1 watt, 3 watt, and 8 watt lasers in-house. Uh, we are working on an isolated drive circuit because lasers have a negative polarity, uh, meaning that the case is usually the positive side. And so you have to invert the power supply or come up with a second um, power supply that's a negative power supply. And it has to be constant current to run these laser diodes without hurting them. So 
we have a nice design. We've sent some boards out to have them made, mm -hmm. and uh, they are somewhere en route. We have a tracking number. And of course, they're coming from overseas, and the tracking number says that the label has been printed, and it's been printed since Friday. So we're kind of waiting to see what they did besides print the label. But uh, since I'm leaving tomorrow, I don't expect anything to happen with that. I'm sure that the lasers will become more interesting here Christmas or right after Christmas as we get uh, our, our other basic stuff more relaxed. It's something I'm very much looking forward to. I can't tell you how many times I've had to cut foam and stuff like that over the last month to going, I almost reach for the laser every time. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Uh, but I realized that the... Uh, the printing is our first and foremost function, and then all the other goodies come right behind it. So, you okay. know, when we're when we're shipping three, four, five systems every week, I'm going to be happy, happier camper, mm -hmm. and so are you guys. Yeah. So that's where the bulk of my for, uh, focus is going. Anyway, all right. Thank you, Nerd Rocks. Hope you get better. Yes. Um, yeah. Good night. We actually have to get going too. I have to prepare for our next thing, and Hutch has to be back here at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So uh, we really appreciate everybody staying in touch with us, your interest, your anticipation, your kindness, your enthusiasm. Yeah. Hang tough. We're swinging from the ceiling, and it's going good. So uh, we look forward to next week and the week after and the week after with everybody and blessings on all you guys absolutely thank you guys all right so good night all right good night guys we're calling it if i can <laughs> there yeah. we go. you really want to